Hey guys, this is Suji Maniya from Elephant Scale. I am going to talk about doing some text processing using Spark 2 APIs. Now the URL for all these repositories is right here. It's uh, github.com Elephant Scale Learning Spark. Pretty straightforward and if you go to the repository, you will see links to a bunch of our tutorials. Today I'm going to focus on processing unstructured data, meaning text files. So I click on the link. I come here, here's a little blog we wrote about text file using Spark 2 API. So here the data we've chosen is very simply simple twinkle twinkle. Right? Again remember this is unstructured data, we want to process it using Spark. So the query, what am I trying to find out is, I want to find the lines that has the word twinkle. Alright, so here's a code, you can do a git clone of the repository. I already have this, so I'm going to go ahead and start the Spark shell right here. I'm going to start with Spark 1 approach very quickly. So go here, start my Spark shell, and you will notice I'm already in my learning Spark repository. Alright, good. I'm here. So we already have the file called Twingle and Spark 1 I'm going to use the se.txt file API. So here's my code. Again yeah, I'm just copy pasting this just to save time. se.txt file and you will see when I use the Spark 1 API se.txt file I am getting an RDD and you can do simple things like a.count there are five lines in A. Now, how do we find the lines that has our twinkle? Very simple. We are doing a filter. So here I am just again getting the line. And this gives me another data frame that is twinkle. And if I see how many lines there are, the two lines, and also you can print this out. There we go, right? So here, I'm just collecting the data and putting them line by line, and we get our twinkle the data set. So this is using Spark 1 API. Now I'm gonna show you how to do Spark 2. So with Spark 2, there are two approaches. Let me show you the first one. So here I'm gonna use a Spark read.txt file API. Not the sc.txt file, but Spark read text file. Right, and this is going to give me a data set. Remember data set is a new um, structure in Spark 2 and you'll see this right here. See B is actually a data set of type string. That's great. And we can do the, all the same APIs like count. Let me do a filter and if, if you look at the filter it looks pretty much the same. And again here's another data set. And I say B dot twinkle Look at the count that one and also do like a collect for each friend ln. Pretty much the same. So if you look at the data set API, it is pretty similar to the Spark version one. So the only difference here is using Spark read text file to read the file. That's good. So let's look at another approach in Spark 2. So here, I'm going to use spark.read.text, not text file, mind you, text. And this is going to give me a data frame to work with. So let's try this. So here's my reading the file. And you'll see the type I get is a data frame. And again, if you compare this to previously, where I use spark.read.text file, I got a data set. Again, subtle difference in the API. With the data frame, I have a schema. So you can say print schema and here I see a schema. What's my schema? Schema only has one attribute which is called value and that is of type string. And this is pretty typical when you are reading text file using data frames you end up getting one attribute which is value of type string. So now that we have a data frame we can do some you know things like we can do show right do all these APIs and we can see a very nice display and also let's do a filter. 
So here's my filter. And if you look at the filter, it's very much like SQL. So here, let me explain. C.filter value like twinkle. And this reads very much like SQL, and that's the beauty of data frames. And where's this value coming from? This is the exact same value as this guy. That's my twinkle. And then I say C dot, uh, C dot twinkle. So false. So now we get the results of twinkle, twinkle, little star. Pretty cool, huh? So what the summary is, I've shown you three methods of doing uh, text files in Spark. So from the Spark one days, we use a c.txt file, and that gave us an RDD. Starting with Spark 2, you can still use Spark context and still get the RDD, but I recommend you can start using the newer API where Spark read.txt file or Spark read.txt. Now what's the difference? The text file gives me a data set, and the text gives me a data frame. And both of them have their own advantages. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you very much.